Well guys, yeah we chase here again. This um this will be like part two. I'm on just off Johnson Road at um Forestdale. All links up to Parkinson. So yeah, we're coming here yesterday. But um I didn't I forgot to charge the battery. So yeah, I only had um 18% on the battery when we started. You'll see it in the other video, the one before this. But um, yeah, as soon as the battery, the battery just died, and then um, we found these um, I don't know, they're, they're trees, they're, they're branches that have been bent over. They're pretty cool. Well, I think it is. So yeah, I'm going to go back and film it. But I'm just going to take a. I'm not going to follow a track, I'm going to make my own track this time. But yeah, because the battery went flat, I don't know if that's the reason. I don't think I've saved the video right. So, if you, if, I suppose it'll be too late when you watch the, the first one and you're watching this one now. But everything's out of whack, so when I'm talking, we're like 20 seconds behind where I'm filming. He's probably worked it out, but yeah, that's, that's what happened. I didn't get to save it, and I think that's why it's done. It's done it cool. It's done it to a few videos, I think. So yeah, if I don't save them, it just totally wrecks them. But yeah, it's just amazing how much bush is through here, eh? We probably only did about a quarter of it yesterday. So I'm going to try and get most of it done today. That's going to be my new mission for now on. I'm, wherever I go, and look, I'm going to... I'm going to try and suss out that whole area. So the next time I go back to Numbar, I know this is a mission. I'm telling you, it's a mission. <laughs> I'm going to start in one corner of Numbar, and I'm going to walk, try to walk that whole area, and just keep it, you know, just a bit of a detail of where I've been, and, and trying so I'm not backtracking over places I've already been. So yeah, that's the plan. It's a pretty pretty stupid plan but I don't know I think they probably only visit these areas once a year what's this here a few rocks that looks like rubbish someone's just dumped rubbish so yeah you probably go you know everyone I do it you go from one place to another one place to another you're probably missing them you know you could come I could come here today and they've and never come back here again, but they could have come here the next day, so, who knows. Anyway, that's, that's, that's a, a plan I'm going to try, unless we get some sort of um, report or something. If we get a report of any, I'll be going there straight away from now on. No mucking around. And I'll just be checking that whole area out. So, yeah. Alright. That's all I got at the moment. Sit down here. Alright. Oh my god. Does anyone know what that is? It's whistling like someone's gum. <whistles> what does that? I don't know, guys. I don't know if you can hear it. Is it someone calling their bloody dog or is there something out here? Stop now. It's coming from down that way, that's where it sounds like it was coming on. Wow, never heard that before. So yeah, it just sounds like someone whistling and going. Help me out on that one. That was clear as. How come? Nothing makes noises when you film it. I'm, I'm gonna get one of those recorders. I'll carry a recorder from now on when I ain't. It might just be a bird, I don't know. 
I haven't spent that much time in the bush at all, so I don't know what noise these animals make. A lot of the stuff just broken off here. Could be just old and windy. Yeah, I don't think it's I think it's just old stuff that's died. He's fallen. Haven't heard that noise again. That was cool. Alright. What about that? So I'm gonna look around, see if there's any like it. Was I seen one like that in the first video. There was one exactly like that. Eh? A break like that. The video just before this one. Bloody cobwebs. I got shoes on today. Oh my god, it's so much better. And what's where fox? Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna turn it off again. Alright, so I'm back on the track. I actually remember this from yesterday, this is a nice hockey because there's another one where we're going. Anyway, so I marked a tree out somewhere along this track so I know how to get back to the spot. So if anyone wants to come have a look, let's go to Johnson Road, Forestdale. Go to the western side of the train line. And there's a track that runs down beside the train line. Don't go down that one, go down the one that goes down the hill. And then you'll end up on this track here. Alright, I'll start filming when we get down here. Alright, so I can see the tree where I ripped the bark off. It's probably only about a K in. But anyway, I want to just show you this. I don't know if it's anything. But. So yeah, there's what I marked yesterday. So if I find it. If you come here, you've got another weird tree here like that. But yeah, just head straight in, it's not far in. Oh, you can actually see it up there. I'll just scan this out a bit. I'll just show you why I think it's... I'll give you a good look. Right, I'm going down there. Oh, they're not little branches. They're massive. Well, I checked it out a bit yesterday. And it's just, I don't know, surely it just can. Right, look at that little tree there, holding that up. Right? Now also, where this broke off, yeah, sure enough, it snapped off. But look how it fell. Surely it wouldn't fall like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, how did it end up back here? And then it all twists its way up into that tree. You've got those other ones over there. It doesn't look like a proper triangle or teepee or whatever, but you just wouldn't think that that would end up like that. So it lands on there, for starters. Lands in between this crappy little tree here that should have, seriously, should have just snapped that. But that's about, I don't know, high as a telegraph pole, right? Oh shit, I'm caught. Then, Come over here. And you've got another one going through there. You've got this one here. Twisted up as well. You got another one there twisted like well, going through through oh they're both oh two of them are going through that in the middle of that one. I don't know. There's gotta be something happening. 
surely they just oh that one snapped off like I said come down have a look see what you think to me that someone's done that I reckon it should have to be 30 foot high Just trying to give you as much angles. It's probably better on the other side, I think. You can see it better. Even that one there, there's another one when you come in. Like that, that could have just broke off and landed like that. But yeah, it is. Is this too much? I'm not gonna scan him. My hands bloody frozen. Like, look at all that. <laughs> this, it can't happen, surely. You've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four branches in there. Oh. Anyway, we'll let the experts. So yeah, just once more. There's other stuff around here too. Just down a bit. Anyway, I'm gonna end this one because they take too long to upload otherwise. And yeah, I'll, I'll make some more. So yeah, I reckon it's pretty cool that. And that'd be like as high as your light post on your telegraph pole out the front, I reckon. Easy. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll start part three. The next one will be, this will be part two. The next one will be part three. So, and the first one's the one that's stuffed up, man, eh? So, all right, guys. See you on the next one.